Today I am going to dye my eyebrows just a little bit darker. I have absolutely no makeup on whatsoever right now. So I'm just gonna like walk you through how I do it because you can totally do it at home. I'm using the Just For Men, that's the trick. You gotta get the Just For Men um, like beard dye or whatever for men and just choose the color that you want and it's like $10 at the drugstore. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, but hold on, I gotta put you down for a second. So the reason why you may want to tint your brows is because tinting them makes them look so much fuller because you actually have like a lot of hair that is kind of like vellus and it's blonde. So when you tint your brows, it brightens those very, very blonde pieces and just makes your brows look naturally thicker. You need a couple products. You'll need Vaseline, a micellar water, or some sort of toner to clean your skin, a cotton ball, a Q-tip, and then obviously the product. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just going to take a cotton ball that has the micellar water on it, micellar, however you want to say it. And I'm just going to clean the brows so that I'm trying to find the best lighting because um, you want to remove like any dirt or oil or anything that's around them so just so they're really clean so the tint like sticks really well so you got to let that dry make sure your eyebrows are completely dry and then I'm going to outline like the perimeter of my brow with Vaseline so that the dye doesn't dye my skin so I don't know if you can see but I just lined the perimeter of my brows with the Vaseline and you want to leave like a little bit of space because that's the point of tinting the brows is to get the baby hairs that are kind of like around the perimeter. So do the Vaseline like a little bit away from the brows. It's kind of hard obviously because it's clear. So um, I look like I have like super dark circles like what's going on B? Is that just my face? I'm gonna put a pea size amount of both the color and then the developer. You've gotta wipe this top portion of the developer off because it's like, you want the white part. So I just, I'm gonna like wipe that off and then put a dollop in here. So there's like equal parts of the developer on the left and then the color on the right and you just wanna mix this together. Yes, look at my look at my shoes, please. Um, you want to mix these together with the other end of the Q-tip. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. The um, exact product I'm using is Just For Men Medium Dark Brown. And this is pretty dark. It's like probably a, I want to say like maybe a 3 on a scale of 1 to 10. If you know um, hair color, it's about a 3. So then you got to let this sit for a minute. I don't know how long, maybe you just kind of wing it like 1 minute, 2 minutes. And then I'm going to apply it with this brush, which is the brush they give you. Apply the product now, um, which I'm not going to film because I want to be precise with it, but I'm going to use this brush and then I'm going to use it and comb it this way and then comb it back a little bit too, just to make sure it's really now in there. You can see the products in my eyebrow. Um, and when you first apply it, you just want to like make sure you coat them both and then go in and really like scrub it in there afterwards because you don't want to, you want to try to mix as little Vaseline as possible, obviously. So now I'm going to leave this for, um, I want to say like five minutes. I'm going to have to verify that but about five minutes and I'm just going to wash this out like pretty much right now because I, I want to be able to reuse it. And with this brush, you know, I'll show you like a little bit. You want to make sure to focus on the tail and the arch because that's where the hair is typically the sparsest. And you can see this as it sits, it's getting darker and darker. That's because the product is working. 
and so you can be like a little bit sloppy because you put the Vaseline there so you don't have to worry about that okay so now I'm gonna take the product off now that I officially look like a fucking freak and I will show you what it looks like after so you want to take a cotton ball and just get it wet and then just go back and forth over the brow make sure all the products off you don't want to have any oil touch your brows for at least 24 hours so um, that's why I'm using water and also like when I cleanse my skin tonight I'll try to avoid my brows when I when I use like my cream cleanser but I personally like to do my brows like a little bit darker for that reason because I know I use a lot of oils in my product um, in my routine so this is going to just you know be a little bit of insurance that it'll last a little bit longer these will probably last like a week or so